CareLink iPro is compatible with Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7, as shown here. To sign into CareLink iPro, go to http colon backslash backslash ipro.medtronic.com. For easy access, you can add a bookmark to your favorite places or create a link on your desktop. This is the sign-in page. When you receive your first iPro 2, you will do a one-time clinic setup by clicking Register Clinic. Upon successful setup of the clinic, simply enter the username and password to sign in. Welcome to the main page. Before setting up a new patient, always check that they have not been previously set up. This can be done by either scrolling through the list of patients or searching by first name, last name, patient ID, or date of birth. If an existing record does not exist for a patient, set up a new patient record by clicking on the New Patient button. The patient record page requires a couple of quick inputs to successfully set up a patient. For privacy concerns, either the patient's first and last name or the patient ID can be entered. If desired, both name and patient ID can be used as well, as has been done in this demonstration with hypothetical patient Ann Smith, who has patient number 1338. Next, enter the patient's date of birth. In this case, Ann was born on October 20, 1950. Ann was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes six years ago, and so under the drop-down menu for diabetes type, type 2 is selected. The other choices are type 1, gestational, and other. The last required field is the therapy type. The choices are insulin pump therapy, multiple daily injections, which is three or more insulin shots per day, one to two insulin shots a day, oral medications, diet and exercise, or other. Anne is on multiple daily injections. The last two fields are optional. However, if there are multiple physicians in an office, it may be helpful to put in the name of the physician. In this case, Anne goes to a large practice and sees Dr. Washington. Click Save in the top right corner to complete the process. Patient Ann Smith with patient ID 1338 has now been created. With the patient setup, it is now time to upload the iPro 2 and meter. Click on Upload iPro 2 to begin the upload process. The first step of the process is to make sure that the iPro 2 has been cleaned, that the USB cable has been connected to the computer as well as the smart dock. It is very important to verify that the white light on the smart dock is on. This means that sufficient power is being supplied to the smart dock. Connecting the iPro 2 to an unpowered dock or without sufficient power may erase all of the data from the iPro 2 recorder. Once the smart dock is connected to the computer, connect the iPro 2 to the smart dock. Click Continue. This begins the communication between the software and the all-in-one smart dock. It is doing a quick check to make sure all the devices are connected as well as testing the battery. It now automatically continues to the next screen. The software is now beginning to pull the data from the recorder. As you can see, we have added a clock to show how quick this upload process is. Once the data is pulled, it is sent to the CareLink iPro server and is checked for quality. This database utilizes state-of-the-art security measures and safeguards to protect patient and clinic information, including a three-tier firewall. The upload of the data from iPro 2 was successful. The software has also erased the data in the iPro 2 to get it ready for the next patient. As you can see, this process only took 50 seconds. The next step is to pair the sensor data to the meter data. Click Continue. The choice is given to either automatically upload one of the supported meters from one of the four companies listed or to manually enter the readings if a non-supported meter was used. Anne used a one-touch, and so Continue is pressed. The specific one-touch meter used is now selected. In this case, Anne used her own one-touch Ultra 2, so no action is required other than clicking Continue. The meter cable provided by the meter company should now be plugged into the computer as well as the meter. Confirm that the meter is off. Click Continue. The software is now communicating with and uploading the meter. 
A clock has once again been included here to show how quick it is. Whether entered manually or automatically uploaded, the meter data is used to calibrate the sensor data and generate the tracings. Again, the data is sent to the server. And the transfer is complete. The meter can now be disconnected and returned to the patient if they use their own. Unlike the iPro2 upload, the data is not erased from the meter. Click Continue to open up the logbook. The logbook is generated from the uploaded data from the meter. Anne's One Touch Ultra 2 meter has the functionality to capture events, and she did a good job entering them. However, she did forget to capture one, and it will need to be entered. Please note that had she been using another meter without this functionality, none of the events would have been captured, and they would all need to be entered manually. To enter events manually, click Add. This opens a small window. Her log sheet shows that on September 28th at 8 a.m., she had a meal and gave herself insulin. This will be useful when looking at the reports to see cause and effect in postprandial patterns. Clicking Enter, the event is added to the log and clears the form so that additional events can be added. To exit, simply click the red X. To complete the upload process, click Continue. For quick printing of all three reports, simply press the Print All button, or to open an individual report, click one of the links. The report opened is in PDF format for a quick upload to electronic medical record systems. The Daily Overlay Report provides an overlay of the sensor tracings from each day of the evaluation. This makes it easier to see patterns that may be occurring around the same time each day. This report also provides daily statistical information, including an excursion summary of highs and lows, and pie charts of the duration distribution. These pie charts show what percent of each day the patient spent above, below, and within the target range. The next report is the overlay by meal. This report also provides an overlay of the sensor traces from each day of the evaluation. However, these are separated into meal periods. Underneath are similar statistics from the daily overlay and are broken up by time of day. This report is a great tool to see patterns related to pre- and postprandial excursions. The third report that is automatically generated is the daily summary report. This breaks out each individual day of the iPro2 evaluation, showing the sensor tracing along with event markers for meals, medication, activity, and other. Here you can see the event that we entered for Anne. This report is especially useful for linking patient behavior to excursions. This concludes the iPro2 specialist modules. Click here to take the test, or to review any of the other sections, choose from the top bar.